guys, it's Tim, Golf 5 Tango Mike. It's lovely to be back with another video after a couple of months break from YouTube. Thanks for staying with me if you've been with me all this time. And if you're new to the channel or stumbled across this video, then great to have you here. Maybe click that subscribe button uh, if you want to come and join in the channel. So today we're going to look at comparing half waves and quarter wave verticals. Now, is there a great deal of difference in their performance? And uh, is one noticeably better than the other? Now, if we look at half wave verticals and quarter wave verticals, we know from our quarter wave verticals that if they're ground mounted, for example, you need a fair few radials down on the ground. And if they're uh, sort of elevated in any way, then you need maybe two, three or four uh, tuned quarter wave radials to go with the, the radiator going up vertical. Vertically, I should say. Now, with the half wave vertical, well, you don't really need that much of, a, of any, really, of a, of a radial field at all. Uh, you feed it with a 49 to 1, uh, or you can use, uh, for example, a homebrew version. I'll put a link up there for you to have a look at if you fancy seeing that. Uh, you don't need radials at all, just a straight uh, radiator going up. And of course, with a 49 to 1, with a half wave, for example, for 20 meters, you'll get a full wave harmonic. Uh, for 10 meters and so on. If you go to 40 meters, you'll get uh, 20, 15 and 10. That's with the 49 to 1 version. So you can get some decent multiband op operation with a half wave as well. But we're going to look today at just comparing a couple of monoband antennas. I've just chosen 10 meters as our chosen band just for the ease of modeling and having a look. And I've run this all through MMANA just to see what the um, just to see what 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 the modelling is like and what the uh, the figures are like and what the far field plots are like. Uh, so let's uh, take a look and uh, see what I found. So I fired up the computer and uh, you can see what I've got here. So uh, we're looking then basically at ten meters as the band. Uh, we're going to use the example for, but you can scale this for any other band really. Um, now the quarter wave raised verticals we're looking at here have radials sloping at forty five degrees, and I think we're looking at is it three or four. And uh, let's have a look. Uh, three uh, of those raised radials, and as we'll see in a minute for the ground mounted version, the uh, number of radials will be a lot more than that. Um, the lowest point of those raised elevated quarter wave antennas for the radials, uh, the lowest point of those radials will be at a quarter, a half, a three quarters, or a full wave above the ground. And I've done it like that, so basically the lowest point of that antenna, the lowest part, the lowest tip of each radial, is at least at the same height as the equivalent height of the half wave that we're comparing it against in terms of the feed point of the half wave antenna. So we're trying to make it as fair as we can for the quarter wave in comparison to the half wave, half wave as well. So uh, if we see from the, the screen here then, first of all, and we're looking at a ground mounted uh, situation first of all. So we've got two tables, the, the table on the left hand side is for the half wave ground mounted and the table on the right is for the quarter wave ground mounted. Now for the quarter wave, I've chosen to feed it with, or to have uh, 16 quarter wave long radials. So the 10 meter antenna, that's 16 two and a half meter radials, that's 40 meters of ground radials on the ground, okay? Because it's a ground mounted quarter wave. Now, uh, you can see there that I've looked at each antenna in terms of its uh, gain uh, for different uh, angles of, uh, of, of elevation. Uh, so, for example, we're looking at 5, 10, 15, 20 and 45 degrees for both. If it's in green, it means that antenna is slightly better than the other. So, for example, on the ground mounted half wave at 5 degrees off the horizon, we can see it has a gain of minus 5 dB. And if we look on the right hand side, the quarter wave at 5 degrees is at minus 6.1. So at 5 degrees off the horizon, the ground mounted half wave is slightly better. Now, we're only talking about a dB difference or less in most of these cases. Now, as we can see on the left hand side, a ground mounted half wave is slightly better than a quarter wave ground mounted antenna. Uh, 5, 10 and 15 degrees off the horizon. The uh, ground mounted quarter wave is slightly better at 20 and noticeably better at 45 degrees. Now, of course, it depends on what you're aiming to do. Are you aiming to, to, uh, to hit DX and uh, benefit from those lower angles of radiation? Or are you happy to, to gain probably uh, to uh, to get hold of shorter range contacts, say within Europe, for example, from the UK. Depends what you want to do, doesn't it? But certainly from that point of view, the half wave ground mounted has the slight edge. And we go back to the figures, we can see we're only looking at about between sort of, well, you know, for 15 degrees, there's hardly anything in it. And for five degrees off the horizon, it has just over a dB difference. So a dB isn't a huge amount at all. You're probably not going to notice it, but it shows the half wave holds its own. Now, if we go to the next slide, 
and we're looking now at a quarter wave of ground. So we've got uh, our 10 meter vertical now, the half wave, it is mounted at uh, two and a half meters above the ground, about, what's that, about eight feet. And the quarter wave, the three raised radials we've got now, because we tuned radials, don't forget, because when a quarter wave is elevated, we need those radials now to be tuned radials, the quarter wave or near a quarter wave length long. And for this, I've got three raised radials. So if we go back to this for a minute, the quarter wave then, three raised radials, and the base of each radial is no lower than two and a half meters, about 45 degrees they are from the feet point, uh, two and a half meters above the ground. Uh, so they're both a quarter wave above the ground, and we can see again on the left-hand side, look, the half wave has a slight advantage, not a huge amount, around half a dB for five and 10 degrees off the horizon. It's a draw 20, and again, the quarter wave is better by about one and a half dBs at 45 degrees. And if we keep going, half wave above the ground, Again, again, don't forget now we're five metres off the deck for the half wave in terms of the feed point and those raised radials with the quarter wave, the lowest point of them are also five metres off the ground. So they're both half wave above ground level. And again, at five and 10 degrees off the horizon, we've got about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of a dB difference in favour of the half wave. At 15 degrees, and there's a bit more of, a, of an advantage for the half wave than there was, still only half a dB. And again, there's less of a difference now at 45 degrees, isn't there? Because it's now about 0.4 of a dB in favour of the quarter wave. So again, the lower angles of radiation seem to be favoured for the half wave. Not by much, between half and one dB, but there is a slight advantage there. Would only make a difference in very, very few situations and very few occasions, but there is a slight difference. Let's carry on. Three quarter wave above the ground, so we've got our 10 metre vertical now, seven and a half metres at the bottom, no, a wave on the ground at the bottom. A bit more of a challenge now to use this portable, certainly we'll probably need a, a 12 or even a 15 metre uh, antenna now really for the half for the, for the the half wave, and sorry, 12 or 15 metre pole I should say for the half wave. Um, and you probably need to mount this maybe sort of um, near sort of gutter level or something like that if you're going to be that high now at home. Um, five degrees, again, very similar, look, five, 10 and 15 degrees, very similar differences around half a dB or so. Uh, also in better now at 20 degrees and at 45 degrees, and again, the quarter wave has a, a noticeable advantage of a couple of dB. And then finally, if we go full wave above ground, so we've got now our 10 meter vertical, about 30 odd feet above ground. So we're talking roof height now, chimney height, whatever it is. Again, if we go back here, look, we can see uh, again, the half wave has a noticeable advantage at 5 and 10 degrees, about half a dB, and uh, at 20 degrees also. And again, we have a very similar advantage for the quarter wave at 45 degrees. So overall, then, um, we've got a situation here where we have a, uh, you know, the, the half wave for the lower angles for our DX, 5, 10 degrees off the horizon, the half wave has a slight advantage. Now, the benefit of the half wave is, I guess, if you're running portable, you don't have to rely on a, on a radial system. Uh, it's a straight vertical, feed at the bottom, job done. Uh, whether that's a ground mounted or you're a couple of meters off the ground or four meters off the ground, whatever it is. For the quarter wave, don't forget, if you're doing a ground mounted quarter wave, you need a fair few radials down. And also, even if it's off the deck, you need to tune those radials as well as tune the vertical, um, um, the radiator. Benefit of the quarter wave, though, is that you'll need a less long pole, if you see what I mean, to get it up uh, above uh, a similar sort of height to the half wave. So, for example, if you look at the 10 metre um, band for the half wave, if you're putting a half a, half a wavelength off the ground, you're going to be mounting it at five metres. It's going up another five metres. You need a 10 metre pole. For the quarter wave, if you mount it at five meters off the ground, then you'll only need another two and a half meters. You can go away with an eight meter pole. So it just makes it a bit easier to get the quarter wave slightly higher off the ground if you're using elevated radials. There you are, pros and cons to both antennas. And the last thing I'll show you here is like an average gain comparison. So if we look at this, so across all those scenarios from ground mounted up to a uh, full wave off the ground, these are the average figures. So the half wave antenna, as we can see at 5, 10 and 15, and indeed well, hardly any difference at 20 degrees. And in fact, even the differences at 5, 10 and 15, they're between 0.6 down to 0.3 of a dB. And at 45 degrees, the quarter wave antenna has about 0.8 of a dB average advantage. So averages aren't always a great figure to use, but it just gives you a flavour, an overall picture, if you like, of how the, uh, the half wave has a slight advantage for those lower angles 
of DX compared to the quarter wave. Just to confirm, those figures are taken from MMANA, uh, the modeling software, and of course the far field plots uh, are what have been used to ascertain the uh, those game figures we looked at there. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, then click subscribe. And uh, thanks for coming along. And uh, it's nice to be back on YouTube again after a couple of months away. 7-3, and there'll be more videos to come. Take care, and uh, you stay safe. Bye-bye.